in sin, but Jesus took me in, and in a little light from him I feel my soul. But it made my heart in love, it wrote my name of love, you know, just a little drop with Jesus makes me wrong. We thank you so much, Father, for the power of your engraving word, which is truly able to save our soul. Amen. As we come together, Father, we pray for, as always, the churches of Christ across this land and country, but in particular, we're praying for the central area of members here, Lord. We pray, for Heavenly Father, for our business, Thomas. We pray for her and her family. We pray for dear mine, uh, that you would strengthen them at this time, Father, while they're going through the tough times, Lord, with the health. Father, strengthen them where they're weak and and build them over there, torn down on the Lord. Father God, we're praying for our distance, the Yolanda who is prepared to travel on this weekend, and Father, we just pray that you will bless them, have safe travel, grace, hurt, and some battle, and that all will be well with them. We pray, Father, that you will uh, watch over Samantha while she's away, and give her strength, oh, Father, and help her to keep her hands in your hands, oh Lord. And we pray, Father, that you will strengthen them, and we just pray, Father, that you can uh, continue to guide her while she's uh, seeking for education, oh Lord. Amen. And we just pray that she keep you first in her life. And we pray, Father, that you will bless us and love to have a safe return back here in heaven, so Lord. Amen. We want her as she travels to have ways and by ways. Amen. We pray, Father, for those by numbers that are sick at this time and those that are troubled, that you will heal them. Please, we pray, Father, for our sister Parker, that, that you will continue to strengthen her as she's going through the loss of her sister, Lord, that you would keep her strength. Amen. We pray, Father, as always, that we can be a, a great source of encouragement to her, oh, Father, while she's going through this time of relief. We pray, Father, last, that you will be with our dear Mother Parker and Sister Williams that is prepared to stop in the Word. And Father, may they say something that can help us to live better than we've been in the past, oh, Lord. We pray, Father, that you can give Mother Parker have a regulation of those things that he said. Amen. And that he can share it on, with it unto us, O oh Father, that it can help us to live better, Lord. 
Father God, we pray that we can take this word and apply it to our daily lives, that we may be a different light as we go out to this world to save the lost, oh Lord. Amen. We pray, Father God, as for those who are yet on the way to Bible study, that you may grant them a safe travel race that you've done for us, oh Lord. It is in Jesus' name we ask it all. Let the church say, Amen. 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 Now let us have a good Oh, he will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. In the prayer of the heart is turning. He will rather talk to Jesus, make him right.
uh, deteriorated. Right? He demonstrated that. And when he came forth, he said, all power in heaven and earth has been given to him. Right? So he says here, he says here in the text, look at, go back, if you would, to Revelation chapter 1. Here, he says in the text, here in verse number 18, he says, I am Alpha and Omega. Is that right? Amen. Yeah, yeah. He said, I am he that liveth and was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. Watch this now. And have the keys of, uh, to the Hadean realm and death. I got it. I got any comments or questions? Any comments or questions? All right. All right. Uh, and verse number 19, Revelations uh, 1 and uh, 19. Let me, let me show you something. Revelations 1 and 19. This is the second time uh, that Jesus tells John to write. Write these things which thou had seen. <clears throat> when he makes that statement, that's in Revelation 1 and verse number 11. So the thing that thou hast seen was the thing that, that was spoken in verses 12 and verse number 18. He says the things that thou hast seen. Uh, uh, let's go, go back if you would to verse number 20. 20. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, to the previous verse, 19. 19. Okay. The things which thou hast seen and the things which are. I need for you to write the thing that I told you to write in, uh, in verse number 11, uh, which is verses 12 through verse number 18. Then he says, I want you to write not only the things that you have that you that you have seen, right? That thou hast seen, and the things which are. Well, the things which are is what he's what he's going to reference in, 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 in uh, uh, regarding the seven churches of Asia Minor. This is what he has reference to. And then he says, then he says, and the thing uh, which shall be hereafter. And what I'm doing is, is breaking this down so that you all will know what he has reference to. The things hereafter is the things that he's going to speak in chapters 4 through, through chapters 22. And that would make what? The whole of the book of Revelation. All right? Any comments or questions? So the things which thou hast seen, the things uh, which are and the thing which shall be hereafter. That culminates the whole book of Revelation. Any comments or questions? Comments or questions? All right. Look at verse 20. The mystery of the seven, the seven stars which thou saw in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, the seven stars are the angels. He, he tells us, are the angels uh, of the seven churches. This does not have reference to elders in the church. This does not have reference to deacons in the churches. Because you cannot have one elder in each church. So he's not talking about the elders. You've got to have a multiplicity of elders and a multiplicity of deacons. Right? Mm -hmm. Any comments or questions? Yeah, and, 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 any comments or questions? Please feel free. Right. So we know he's not talking about elders. He's talking about his messenger. The one that gets up before the people and share his message. That's what he has reference to. 
He says here, and look at verse number, uh, uh, and he says, and he says, uh, 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 the seven stars are the, uh, uh, are the angels of the seven churches. The seven churches, the seven candlesticks, which thou uh, uh, thou sawest, are the what? The seven churches. So we have no, there's no question about what the uh, the angel or the, the stars represent or what the candlesticks represent. Right? Now let's move on to, to chapter 2. Uh, the first church that he's going to deal with is the church in Ephesus. The church in Ephesus. Alright. Unto, unto uh, Revelation uh, chapter 2 verse 1. Unto the angel. See there's no clue. There's no way. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus right. These things says he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. What that uh, symbolizes, what, what that uh, uh, represents is that, is that Jesus Jesus' spirit is in the midst and he knows everything that goes on. He, it is, it, it, it is, he's present in the church. He knows what's happening. Now watch this. He's going to prove that. Right? He's going to prove that. Uh, uh, what did we say the uh, 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 candlesticks no. Candles, what, what, what do they do? They give light. They give light. They give light. The church is made up of Christians. Is that right? The church is responsible to do what? Give light. Right. Look at Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. Let's look at that if you would. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 14. He says, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill that cannot be healed. The church is the light. Each member of the body of Christ is responsible to give light. Right? Right? All right. All right. I, I want to give you that verse of scripture. Let's go back over to Revelation 2. Let's go back to Revelation chapter 2. Uh, here. Uh, any comments about, about that? Look, look if you would at Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15. Let's see. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 15. All right. He, Paul is talking to the church in Philippi. He says to the church of Philippi that ye may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked or evil uh, and, and, and perverse nation. Watch this now. Among whom ye shine as what? Lights in the world. We as Christians have a responsibility to give light. All right. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's look at verse number two. Revelations chapter two. Look at verse number two. Uh, Revelations chapter two, verse number two. Listen to Paul. I, I have a brother, John. I know thy words and thy labor and thy patience 
and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. Think about it. Amen. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and has found them liars. He said, I know your work. I, I know. How does he know? Because he's in the midst of it. He walketh in the midst of the church. Right? He says, I know your works. Now, I know you have you have uh, people in the religious arena said, you know, that, that, that you're not saved by works. Amen. Uh, 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 you're not saved by works alone. You see. Uh, but you have to work. Paul said what? Work out your salvation in fear and trembling. Right? Amen. So, so you have to. You have to work. James said in James 2, a faith without works is dead. So we have, we have a responsibility, regardless of what the religious arena have to say, we are responsible to work. Now this has no reference, this work has no reference to the work that we do in the kingdom necessarily. It has everything to do with the lives that we live. Yeah. See, the lives that we live is a what? It's a work. Uh -huh. Yeah. The, 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 the letting of our light shine uh -huh. is a work. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Now, now, and when we get a little further down in the text here, he's going to talk about, you know, uh, what we do in the kingdom here. Uh, but in this particular verse here, he has reference to the lives that we live. Hey. All right? Any comments or questions? He says, I know your labor. He says, and your patience. You, you, are, you are persistent. You're not giving up. I know what you're doing. He says, and how thou canst not bear of uh, them which are evil. You tell it like it is. You call out those who are evil. Mm -hmm. You don't tolerate evil. Hey. Because evil and love can't reside in the same body. Hey. Amen. 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 And thou hast tried. You put them to a test. Them which said that they are apostles. False apostles. You tried. And they are and are not and has found them liars. They are false apostles. They are professing themselves to be somehow or another connected with the real apostles. And they didn't meet the qualification for apostleship. And the apostleship was not passed on to another individual. When the apostles died, the apostleship was over. John, for whom is writing this book of Revelation, was the last apostle to leave. He said, I, you, 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 you put them to the test. Church in Ephesus? Yes, you did. You put them to a test and you found that they were liars. Yeah, that's what you did. Look at 2 Corinthians, if you would, uh, chapters 11 and verse number 13. 2 Corinthians chapters 11 and verse number 13, if you would be so kind.
They are us. Apostles. Paul said. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What about 13? That's right. Just 13. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look, look at verse number, look at verse number 14. And no one, watch this, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. They just like their dad. Just, they, they just like their dad. Amen. They, they try to transform themselves into apostles of Christ, but they're liars. They're liars just like Satan the dad. He is the father of lies. Right. He says, so don't be surprised. Mm -hmm. they don't be surprised if they do that because Satan himself does that. You see, anybody that's teaching false doctrine, they are of the devil. And if we follow those that are, te are, are, are teaching false doctrine, we are associated with them. Amen. Amen. Look at verse number 15. He says in verse number 15, therefore, it is no great thing if the minister, watch, if, if who? Say, if his ministers also be transformed into ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Hey. Paul, uh, uh, John said, uh, brother Paul says uh, to the church at Corinth, they go on to hell just like they did. That's what he's saying. That's all he's saying. Mm -hmm. That. He said in verse 14, don't be surprised. No marvel. Don't be surprised. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And then he sums it up here by saying, therefore, it is no great thing if this minister also be transformed as ministers of righteousness. They act like they're righteous. They carry the Bible and they act pious. Uh -huh. They act like they know something, don't know nothing. Yeah. Amen. Ministers of righteousness whose end when they die shall be according to their works. If they were false, if they were liars, if they were not of, of, of Christ, they cannot be of Christ when they die. Amen. Any comments or questions? All right, any comments or questions? Now, let me show you something. Uh, the question is sometimes you ask, uh, 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 and I get this all the time. I get it all the time. Uh, Brother Park, uh, when, how do all these churches come uh, to fruition? How, 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 what, how, how do they come about? Well, uh, go with me to Acts chapter 20. If you would, Acts chapter 20 and verse 29. Acts chapter 20 and verse 29. Acts chapter 20. Paul said, uh, John said, I, uh, uh, Jesus said, brother, uh, uh, to the church of Ephesus, I, I, you have tried them and you have found them to be lost. So what that indicates here, uh, folk very early, even before John died, uh, they were trying to change the gospel. They were, they were trying to establish their own beliefs and practices. Acts chapter 1 and verse 20. Acts 1. Acts chapter 20. Oh. Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20. Okay. I, I want to show you all something. Uh, Paul, Paul uh, uh, called the, uh, uh, the elder of Ephesus to the deacons here. Uh, and he's giving them some instructions here. He says, watch this now. He says, for I know this. It, no doubt in my mind. I know this. I know this. That after my departing, when I die, 
shall breed his wool coming in among you. He ain't talking about four legged wolves there. He's talking about two legged wolves. Uh, and he called them wolves because he's he's using the, when when you think about wolves, they are they are ravenous. They 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 they, they, they stalk. And they and, and when they get there, when they get uh, uh, their prey, they just tear that they tear that, that, that prey apart and eat that prey viciously. Mm -hmm. Paul says, Paul says, uh, 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 after my departure, shall bring his wolves in and in among you, not sparing the flock. Mm -hmm. Well, he ain't talking about sheep or lamb there. Mm -hmm. He ain't talking about what he is, a, a, a Christian. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, we all, all be lambs. And, and, and not goats. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If y'all be sheep, and we don't need none of us. Ain't no goat going there. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Look at your next verse. Watch this. Also, now, now watch it. Uh, verse number nine, verse number uh, twenty-nine, deal with people on the outside of the church that's going to try to tear the church apart. Mm -hmm. Have you ever or degrade the church? Uh, 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 talk about the church. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What the church is mm -hmm. and what it's not. And most people that talk about the church don't know nothing about the church. Yeah. It, 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 it comes yeah. from what they heard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and they don't know why the church teach what the church teaches. Yeah. Amen. But if we study the Bible, we can plainly understand why uh, uh, we as the Church of Christ do what we do when we do. There's a reason. Right? right? So he said, he says, people from without are going to, 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 to try to tear up the church. They're going to discourage people from, from entering into the church. Amen. But uh, uh, false teachers are. But why are false teachers going to do that? Why would false teachers do that? We just talked about it just a few minutes ago. Because who their daddy is. Satan hates the church. That's right. Because salvation is in it. So when you talk about the church that you read about in the Bible, those who are connected with Satan don't talk about it. They're going to talk negative about it. They're going to say everything that they can say to discourage you from doing what, what, what God would have for you to do. But now check this out. Check this out. Every Sunday, Satan come in and have a seat. Don't you ever think that Satan, uh, because we're worshiping God, that he ain't going to come in. Okay. He's going to have a seat. That's it. That's it. Hey. Amen. He's going to have a seat. And he just kind of kind of look around and see what he can tell. Uh -huh. That's it. He did that in Job's in time. Didn't he? Yes, he did. When the sons of God came into the presence of God, right? Uh -huh. The Bible says Satan came in what? And the Bible said, the Bible said that God asked him, well, what you doing here? <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to it for a moment up and down and trying to see who I can tell. <laughs> I want to see what I can tell. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, so when we are here, here in, in verse number 29, those are people from the out. But in verse number 30 here, these are the people that are within Paul. Watch this, Paul. Paul said, also of your own sake. <laughs> These are elders. <laughs> Paul said, you elders shall, uh, shall arise and speak perverse things. Things that God did, that we did not teach, uh, 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 that we did not write, that we, we did not tell you, and the thing that Jesus gave us uh, 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 that he did not say. You're going you to speak the first thing to do what? To draw away disciples after them. Yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. So, so, so the 
the church is challenged from without and the church is challenged from within. Oh yeah, he said it. He said it right in the midst. And he don't want no peace. He wants strife and division and chaos. Without getting real technical and to the point, 
Uh, that movement started started in, 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 three, in the early 300s A.D. Uh, around 606 A.D. The first denominational, denominational church came to existence. What church was that? Rome. The Roman Catholic Church came to uh, came into existence. Uh, from from the Roman Catholic Church, and, and the thing about the Roman Catholic Church, and and, 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 and that's what the Book of Revelation call uh, 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 call when the Book of Revelation talks about the seat of Satan. That's the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, Martin Luther at, 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 at that time, that you you didn't have uh, uh, the individuals could not have a Bible. They could no one. They, if you had a Bible, uh, uh, you 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 were destined to be to be stolen or killed in some fashion. And they took all the Bibles away from uh, from the common people and burned the Bible. The only Bible. That, 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 that they had was the Bible that the Roman Catholic Church nailed to the poor people. It, it had a chain. Nobody could take it off. Martin Luther came along. And uh, somehow or another, he got his hands on the Bible. And he started comparing what the Catholic Church taught to what the Bible taught. And he ended up writing what is called a, a, a nativeified thesis of the thing that the Roman Catholic taught that was contrary to what the apostles taught. When he did that, he had to flee. Eventually he died. When he died, what the Roman the Roman Catholic Church was so angry with him until they went to his gravesite, dug up his bones, put his bones on trial, found his bones guilty of treason, took his bones, burned his bones, and cast his, the ashes into the river. Street. They were so upset because he exposed their false teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Every denomination in the world today is a product of the Roman Catholic Church. Look at their structure. One of the signs is their structure. Where is the, uh, 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 the Roman Catholic Church headquarters? In Rome. The Pope, he's called the Vica. He's called, he's called, in essence, God on earth. When he speaks, it's just like God speaking. He can change laws. He can, he can do whatever he wants to do. And nothing and nobody can say anything about it. I don't mean no harm. I don't mean no harm at all. But every religious organization on this planet got a headquarters somewhere on this planet. Every denomination. The Jehovah's Witnesses. New York. The Church of God in Christ is where? Memphis. Here in Memphis. I'm not even sure where the Baptist, it moves around. I'm not even sure where the Baptist headquarters is. Right? But they have a headquarters where you got, you got men that sit, sit on the throne and they determine what the religious organization will teach and not teach. Same thing as Catholic, the structure is the same. Where is our headquarters as, as, as Church of Christ? In heaven. We don't have, each, each, each congregation of the Church of Christ is autonomous. Church, uh, 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 God's Lord can't come here and tell us what, what not to do. But if one of the Baptist churches mess up, the headquarters uh, uh, can come.
come to wherever that place is and, 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 and correct them. And if they don't get it right, they're out of here. That's right. That's right. So all of these religious, religious organizations come from the result of what Paul prophesied in Acts chapter 20, verses 29 through verse number 30. Any comments or questions? Comments or questions? All right. No comments or questions. Let's move, let's move uh, uh, another puppy. Uh, look, look if you would. Uh, let's go back to Revelation chapter 2. All right. Uh, let, 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 one more. I'm sorry. Uh, go to 2 John 19. 2 John 19. Uh, this, this, this thing about obeying and doing what Christ said is so important. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, Acts, Acts, uh, no, 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 no. 2 John 19. 2 John 19. John. I said 2 John 9 and 10. Ain't one verse. I'm one chapter. Nine and ten. Yeah. Verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, man. Listen, listen, listen to what John. Same, same writer of the book of Revelation. Whosoever transgress. That word transgress means to go beyond. Whosoever go beyond and abideth not stay, if you don't stay mm -hmm. in the doctrines or the teachings of Christ, what Christ says, we have not God. Have not God. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important that if we're going to do this, we might as well do it right, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Because if we don't do it right, we have not God. Yeah, yeah. But he that abided, he that stayed in the teachings, the doctrines for the teachings of Christ, have both the Father and the Son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yes, Amen. Look at verse number 10. Watch this. How serious it is. If there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, this teaching, New Testament. Mm -hmm. Receive him not in your house, yeah. and neither be in your God's speak. Mm. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Don't say bless you. Because if you do, you might as well go and do what he does. That's right. Yeah. Don't encourage him. Because it's not a God, and if it's not a God, where's God? Right. I have a question. When you say don't don't say bless you, you right. know, we meet people all the time that says, Thank you for holding the door open for me. Bless you. Right, no, no, not bless you. Uh, 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 you know, when it comes to uh, bring when it comes to the teaching, we, 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 you know, when you say bless you, I, I'm wishing you well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm wishing you well. Yes, sir. Right. right. Thank you. So, and so he said, he said, don't look at verse number eleven. He said, he said, he said, don't do it. For he that bid him God speak, and he's teaching false doctrine. He that bidden him God speak is much as now is partaker of his evil deeds. So if you encourage that false teaching, then you are you are you are, you are against God. That's it. You are a partaker of his deeds, his evil deeds. Right? All right. Uh, let's go back to Revelation here and make, make one more point and then I'll, I'll give you to John. All right. Now, now listen to what he says here, church chapter. Listen to what he says here. He said, I know your works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil 
and thou hast tried them which say that they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. Watch again. And has borne and has patience. And, and, and watch this now. And, and for my name's sake, has labored and has not failed. You have labored. Revelation 2 and, and verse number 3. You have labored and you have not failed. You, you, you've held on. You've held on. When it comes to a, a, a false teaching, you have stood. Mm -hmm. You've stood on the word of God. You stood. Watch it. Watch it. Look at verse number, number, number four. He says, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Jesus talked. Because thou hast left thy first love. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, you stand and you persevere. Mm -hmm. Standing on the truth and you persevere. He said, but you have left your first love. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? You're no longer focused on me. You're no longer willing to make sacrifices for me. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. Yet you're standing on truth. But it's not about me anymore. No, 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 no. You're not interested in me. You're not interested. Dear Jesus, I'm not your first love anymore. Isn't that something? Look right quick at Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3. While, 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 while you're turning to Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3, he says he, oh, well, let's see. Back up one verse here, if you would. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, in every transgression and disobedience received the just recompense uh, of the reward. You, uh, talking uh, uh, concerning those under the law. Uh, they got what they deserved. Look at verse number three. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? The fact that Jesus came into this world, he sacrificed, he sacrificed hell to come and to die on the cross of Calvary so that you and I might have a right to eternal life. Which at first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him, the apostle, talk. Go ahead. God also bearing them with this, both with signs and wonders and divers miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. But in verse number three, he said, if, if, if God dealt with those of old like he did, how shall we escape? Verse three, how shall we escape? He says, he says you left your first love. Verse 5, remember therefore from which thou art fallen. You see, when you leave your first love, you fall away. Body is here. But your mind is on the other side. Mm -hmm. so, so he says, Remember, you, 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 you remember when you were first baptized into the body of Christ, how focused you were and how excited you, how on fire you were, and how you were, you were willing to do anything for Christ. He said, 
says, remember. Remember. Or, 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 or maybe you grew up in the church and, and over time you, you left the church. And you've come back to the church. And when you came back, you were so excited. And you thank God for not taking your life when you were out there uh, doing your thing. And you were focused and, and, and you would do anything for the Lord. You were on fire. But you fall. He says, remember. Remember from which thou hast fallen. Watch it here. And do what? Repent. Repent. And do the first work. What is the first work? Do what you did when you first obeyed the gospel. Get yourself focused. Be willing to make sacrifices. Right? Watch it here. Now watch this. Or else. Or else. Revelations 2 and verse number 5. Or else. Listen to him. I will come with thee and remove thy candlestick out of his place except you repent. In that in, in, in that you mm -hmm. Now here's, here's the last verse of scripture. Here's the last verse of scripture. 2 Thessalonians chapters 2 and look at verse number 9. And, and then we're closing tonight. 2 Thessalonians uh, chapters 2. <clears throat> And verse number nine. Even him who's coming after the workings of Satan with all power and signs of lying wonders. Next verse. And with all deceivableness, he's deceptive of unrighteousness in them that perish. Why? Because they receive not the love of the truth. They, 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 they don't want to accept the truth. Amen. That they might be saved. Amen. Watch Paul here. Paul here. Next verse. For this cause, God shall send it strong delusion that they may believe a lie. Go ahead. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness. Next verse. But we are bound to give thanks always to God. Why, brother? Because when you heard the truth, you obeyed it. You followed it. You weren't concerned about what other folks thought. You, you doing what you know is right in the Word. Because God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification uh, 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 of the Spirit and believe in the truth. He did that. This does not teach predestination. But when Jesus died, he said it in order. And for the hearts that are right, and the hearts that want to do right, have done right, Paul was talking about. Back up, if you would, to verse number 20. Verse number 11. I'm sorry, verse number 11. And I'm sitting down. And for this call, God shall send them a strong delusion. Since we want to believe a lot, God will fix our minds where we'll believe that. Amen. Right. Amen. And, and, and we'll, be, we'll believe it, and, 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 and we'll think that we're right, but it's that God has sent a strong delusion that they might believe a lie. Then what is he going to do? Verse number 20. When they stand before him in judgment, he's going to 
will damn their soul to hell. Why? Because they believe not the truth. But they wanted to do what they wanted to do like they wanted to do what they wanted to do. They, they were satisfied Amen. with the lie. Isn't that powerful? Amen. That is absolutely powerful. Amen. Thank you all for your undivided attention. Thank you. We hope so to pray that uh, truly you said something. Bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you all so much.